We're going to show you a demonstration and this involves chromatography. What we have here are two vials and they have two chemical structures. This one has an additional carbon compared to the one in this vial over here. We will take small samples of each of these. One of them that we'll call compound A, we're gonna put on this spot labeled A. The other one we're gonna put on the spot labeled B. And in the middle, we're gonna put a spot of each of the chemicals together. You won't be able to see anything on this plate because the molecules don't absorb um, visible light. From there, what we're going to do is we're gonna put this into this chamber, and this chamber has a little bit of a solvent in it. The chemicals that we've added here are basically sticking to this, and we call that the stationary phase. Those molecules have a choice. They can stay on that stationary phase, and they will stay on it, but the solvent, which we call the mobile phase, will start moving up this plate, and then the chemicals will move with it. And we'll be able to look at that under UV light because the chemicals have slightly different structures, they will move differently on this plate. So one will move faster than the other, ultimately allowing for the two chemicals to separate.